Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Candic, and today we're doing a Where Are They Now video for Mary Roach, or should I say Mary Gilbo, because that has more star quality. Mary Roach auditioned for American Idol in 2005 and sang the song I Feel the Earth Move by Carole King. I have too many copyright claims on my channel already, so I'm not gonna play it, but it kind of went like this. Earth move under my feet. I feel the sky come falling down. Even with that bad portrayal, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Immediately following her audition, she did a few appearances, she did like a live journal, and she had a presence on social media. But as the years went by, she disappeared, and nobody knows what she's up to today. Nobody can seem to find her, and that's where I come in. Anywhere on the internet that talks about what she's up to now says that she only has this one Instagram account with very sporadic posting and it's really no help in knowing what she's up to. But according to them, this is the only thing of her that exists online. Mary did a very good job of disappearing into society and I thought I'd met my match. I'd considered giving up and just moving on to somebody else on the list. I was like, done, this is it. This one is the one that I can't find, but I, I'm kind of stubborn. I found her. I need to preface or preface or whatever that word is this by saying I am 99% sure and I have to say that because there's the tiniest chance that I'm wrong. There are too many correlations and connections for me to actually believe that but I feel like I have to responsibly say that. I'm gonna try to give you a good update on her life and even share some of the evidence with you that I found without giving away any identifying details that will lead other people to her. These people disappear for a reason and just because I found her doesn't mean that other people should, okay? I'm just doing this to settle the longing question in our hearts. Okay, so to start, I gather everything that is already known for someone. For Mary, we knew her name, where she was from, and her supposed age. I'll tell you why I say supposed later. Through some digging, I found out a few more things, like where she went to middle school, who her idols were, what her nickname was, things like that. You would think with the arsenal of information that I had that I could locate her, and typically that would be the case. Mary covered her tracks so well, and I think that she'd be really surprised to find out what piece of information actually led me to her. She goes by a different name completely. She moved away and the age thing, let's just address that right now. Did any of us actually believe that this was an 18 year old? When I first saw the audition, I didn't question it too much because A, why are you lying about your age? And B, her skin looks so youthful. I thought maybe the haircut just made her look older. But then I saw a TV appearance that she did with Mark McGrath immediately after the audition. So she would still be like 18 or 19 at the most. And those pictures make her look much older. I was convinced after that, that she's not 18. And if she was 18, I feel really bad for saying that. I zoomed into her teeth and the type of decay that I'm seeing is not something you typically see from an 18 year old. This is something that I see usually after like the age of 25 in the people around me. Not like unheard of, but it's pretty rare. I could not pin down her actual date of birth, but based on the time that she finished her studies, I believe her to be around the age of 28 in her appearance. The basic facts about Mary were not helpful. The name, the age, the town wasn't helpful. So let's move on to this Instagram page. There are a ton of accounts all across social media, but they're all obviously fake to everyone except this one Instagram. I went through every post and every word on this account and it was leading me nowhere. I took a break and came back and with fresh eyes, I noticed something. I want to give y'all a second to see if you notice it too. I'll let Mary give you a hint. G-U-I-L-B-E-A-U-X. Why would the only legit account get that wrong? She spelled it for us. It doesn't match up. And why am I the only one noticing this? That's what I want to know. Now I'm not so sure that this count is even legit. The reason that a lot of people think that it is is because it has these pictures on there that are apparently more recent than any of the other ones we've seen. But let's take a look at these pictures too. You're telling me these are 2017, 2018 quality pictures? I don't know. They look like 2008 at 
best. At the time of her audition, Mary had a MySpace page and you can no longer access it, but I believe that's where these pictures came from. It's just a theory. At that time, I was convinced that this is not Mary Roach's account. Somebody else is running it and just has convinced us that it is the real her. But in hindsight, now that I know who I believe the real Mary Roach is, the landscaping and some of these pictures matches up with the landscaping that she's posted of where she lives now. It's not identical, but I have to wonder if it is like this, this different views of the same yard because it looks so similar. After I convinced myself that it wasn't her, in hindsight, I'm like, is it really her? And she just spelled her damn name wrong. I don't know. It took me like another four days of painstaking inquiries by the time I found who I believe to be her. It's no wonder nobody can find her. You wouldn't expect her to look the way she does. She's like 46, first of all. So you're picturing this, but you need to picture somebody who's almost 50. She's still like shaped the same, but she's put on like 30 pounds, which it, it's been 18 years. That's not that much. That's less than two pounds a year so um like aging does that to you and all bodies are beautiful and her teeth are fixed they look perfect she has a couple videos on her social media and her speaking voice is still the same it has a little bit of an older tone to it but it's still very soft and pleasant i think that i could include a clip to show you what i mean without like leading you to her so i'll try to do that would you like me to sing like myself I have a ton of different voices. See, I should have left it, and then I ended up with that stripe of white down his middle, and I just couldn't help myself, and then... Something that I think may surprise people is she's a really good singer. Either she was a good singer all along, or she developed her singing voice later in life. The first option could be true. Right after her audition, she did an interview where she said that it was an act. She said that she thought she'd be received by the public in the same way that William Hung was received by the public and it would like kickstart her comedic alter ego type of career. Unfortunately, the opposite happened and she was ridiculed and bullied worse than anyone else I've looked into so far. There were people that liked it, but the hate was louder and I think it eventually ran her off the internet, at least as Mary Roach. And she very successfully disappeared and re-emerged in 2000 and 12 under a completely different identity. The person that I found, everything about her starts in 2012, even though one of her socials dates back to 2006, that whole block has been deleted. How do I know that it's an alias? How do I know that's not her real name? Well, I got my hands on her real name. Her real name is Mary Roach. You're probably wondering why I even have that 1% doubt still. It's because of the age discrepancy and the fact that I asked her and she said no. I don't expect her to say yes though. What is she gonna be like? The jig is up, you got me. She spent way too much time disappearing just to be like, yep, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm gonna post the exchange because I, I still think her answer was just a bit sus. Like she said no, but A, how did she know which Mary I was talking about? Like. I feel like we would know, but does everybody? Maybe they do, I, maybe they do. And B, this lady seems like a really nice person. I don't think she would have left this on red. Like she read it, said nothing. The next day, got another one, read it, said nothing. She could have easily been like, oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny, but no, that's really not me. She doesn't owe me any kind of response, period. So I could be reading too far into this, but. So now that I think I found her, what is she up to? She does hair. Who's surprised by that? The rest of her time is given to the church that she attends and she's a very involved member. She sings for them. She like orchestrates these child recitals and like she does a lot for this church. She still very much likes comedy. She used to attend comedy stand-up shows regularly and she used to go to karaoke regularly too. And I have to wonder if any of the people in any of those karaoke bars ever realized they were listening to Mary Roach. I hope someone got to appreciate that experience. She's always got wit funny things to say on her posts so she didn't lose that comedic bone although I would say she's a much calmer version of herself she doesn't appear to be married or have any kids she does have a couple of cats and she really loves her cats <laughs> she's a fan of Amy Poehler and Parks and Rec and anytime she posts something about her it's in this outfit and I see, a, I see some similarity and I wonder if it's an Easter egg. 
I also find it ironic that she's a big fan of Little Edie and Little Edie is someone that Mary Roach has been compared to over the years. So I wonder if that's also an Easter egg or if she just loves Little Edie because so do I. Okay, so in summary, Mary Roach is doing great. She successfully escaped the public scrutiny and rebuilt her life as a different person. She's still Mary in many ways, a loving comedy, loving cats, doing hair, singing, albeit better now, doing blogs and journaling. She's a more refined and cautious version of herself, like more normal. And some people might think that that's a good thing, but to me, it's sad because I think Mary had so much potential. She shouldn't have made it through to the next stage of American Idol, but I still think there was a place for her in the creative entertainment space. She was bullied into a cage, metaphorically. I think if her audition were to happen today, it would be a little different. Like, there's still haters, but there's a bigger space of people like us who can speak louder and appreciate Mary for who she is. Unfortunately, I don't see her ever reintroducing herself back to the public. I think that she put way too much time and energy into creating the life that she has now. I don't even think her colleagues and the people around her know. I think aside from her parents and her brother, and maybe, maybe one or two other people sprinkled in there. I think everybody else has no clue and it seems like that's how she wants it. That's all the relevant information that I can share. Please don't even go try to find her. You will waste your time. Without knowing her new name, you will not find her. You can make my insane efforts worth it by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I have a growing list of requests from you guys. I don't know who I'm gonna move on to next. Maybe I'll just close my eyes and point but i'll see you then until next time goodbye photos of an appearance that she did with tim mcgrath tim tim, tim mcgrath what's his name mark <laughs> actual date of birth but burst life like uh